G'day fellow black pillars and ink wells. It's uh, Master Yoda here and hope you guys are all doing well. Look, uh, the title of uh, this video is What are your biggest regrets as a uh, lifelong or long-term inkwell? Um, this video is more dedicated to the guys who have given up on dating. Um, and once again, with regards to giving up, that's a personal decision each inkwell man has to make. I'm not telling you guys just to give up. It's entirely up to you. Um, but with that said, um, yeah, when I look back at my um, <laughs> rather abysmal failed dating life, um, yeah, I do have a lot of regrets actually. And I know, look, I know it's easy to be wise after the event, or as they say, you know, with the benefit of twenty twenty hindsight. But you know, if I could live my life over again, one thing I would have done differently um, is that I've never approached those those women. Um, you know, if, 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 if I knew there was going to cause a lot of depression and sadness and stuff, I'll, I would have never wasted my time. But I suppose in my defence, um, you know, when I was a young man, when I, when I was a much when I was a much younger man, I'm 54 now. You know, back when I was, you know, it was in my, when I was in my twenties, there was no internet around, and the advice that I was given, um, although the people that dispensed the advice were, you know, they they, they met well. The, the, usually, a lot of came. A lot of it usually came from boomers and people from previous generations. When when there was a dating culture, not the hookup culture that we have now. And look, their advice might have worked, you know, back in the '60s or the '50s, but it's definitely not going to work now um, with with today's hookup culture. Um, yeah, I mean, I, th I think if I could have my life over again, I would have never approached those women. No way. And. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful that back in 2008 I did find my first Inkwell community, um, and uh, this would give me a lot of comfort as well. And I also have to thank people like uh, Face and LMS, Inkwell TV, and all the, and all the other Black Pill content creators for many ways for saving my life because they've um, they've provided me with the reassurance and comfort that you know that my lack of luck of the ladies is not my fault, and 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 and, for, and to other Inkwell men as well, it's not your fault. I mean, if you don't have the genetics that women find attractive, well, there's not really much you can do about it. I remember many years ago when I was on, I think it was the POA Hate Forum, I was conversing with another member there, and, <coughs> excuse me, he told me that he used to be um, heavily involved in the POA until he realised it was, it was BS, and he told me that he had approached 15,000 women, and I said, what? And, um, I told him I approached about 220, 230, but that was over a 35 year period. And I asked him, of the 15,000, how many, how much accepted you? And he said he only had 15 lays. That's not even, that's not even 1%. It's a fraction of 1%. Um, yeah, and, um, and I asked him you know, at what period of time. And I think he might have mentioned, it might have been about, about 10 years. And when I thought about it, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's more than plausible, I suppose. You know, if you go out night clubbing, Two nights a week, or even once a week, and you ask an average of say, you know, thirty women a week, you know, fifty-two weeks in a year, yeah, yeah that's a bit over fifteen hundred. I think it's about sixteen hundred over. Yeah, that, 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 that's you could easily do that. And I told him, you know, I, when I replied back to him, I said, look, you know, I, I sympathise for your situation. I sympathise for your situation. I'm sorry you had to go through all that. And uh, I then told him that look, I gave up after two hundred, uh, two hundred odd rejections. Um, Rejections, and then he replied. He actually said up something very nice. Actually, he said, "Look, um, he, he said, I wish I was more like you, Master. Yeah, I should have given up much earlier, but I kept, I kept, I kept, uh, I kept persisting." So yeah, I fell for this guy. I mean, well, wow, fifteen thousand um, approaches for only fifteen, fifteen lays. <sighs> yeah, I mean, if you got to. Uh, you got to go to a PUA or a dating coach like like Inkwell TV often says it's a wrap, it's over for you. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so yeah, I, that, once again that's that's probably my biggest regret uh, approaching all those women. But once again, I was I was given very bad advice. I mean, the people who dispensed the advice they meant well, but um, unfortunately today's hookup culture is just it's just ineffective, totally ineffective, and that's why I have to cringe at these PUA videos. Especially the cold approach ones, or the, the the day game ones. Um, yeah, 
cold approaching women, regardless if it's a day game or it's a nightclub, or whatever, it's it's a high risk, low yield exercise. It really is. You're just playing the numbers game. And women don't like being cold approached. They really don't. If they don't give you, you know, the choosing signals or the indicators of interest for them, for you to approach them, just don't do it, guys. Because you're just going to come across as being a creep, but, you know, uh, desperate, needy, and that's not attractive to women. Not attractive to women at all. Yeah, but um, you know, I've made uh, I've made peace with my my inkwell. You have to. I mean, there's no point fighting it. You know, I mean, you're not going to win. Um, you know, I'm lucky that here in Australia, you know, paying for bedroom fun is legal. And that's exactly what I do. And strangely enough, um, I know all my bedroom fun is being paid for. I probably have a more six, a more uh, fulfilling, and satisfying, uh, you know, sex life than, than most uh, married guys do. Because a lot of married guys are trapped in dead bedrooms. And actually, most men who who frequent uh, sex workers or hookers or whatever I call them, um, are married men trapped in, in dead bedrooms. Um, so yeah. So yeah, that's all I really want to say. Just. Uh, yeah, I suppose my, my biggest regret as an inkwell is uh, approaching all those all those women. I mean, what was I thinking? I mean, I, you know, I, I look at myself and say, Master Yadi, you idiot. What was wrong with you? Um, but you know, I, I was given very bad advice. Um, I mean, once again, those people meant well, but the advice was out of date. It might have worked in a dating culture, but not in the hookup, definitely not in today's hookup culture. Um... So probably, you know, with uh, I know, with the benefit of hindsight, um, I probably should have given up much sooner. Um, as I mentioned in previous videos, you've been rejected, rejected by about 230 odd women, 100 in face to face in person, and the remaining ones online. Um, yeah, I mean, there were the same years I didn't approach any women at all. I just wasn't given the choosing signals. I just, I just couldn't be bothered. Um, yeah, but I can see why a lot of guys do give up. I mean, it's it's tough out there. And actually, a lot of other channels, they're not necessarily black pill channels, but they they do, um, you know, they, they, they do state why a lot of men have just given up. I don't blame them. I really don't. I really don't. Modern women, I'm not saying all, there's, there's decent women out there. But a lot of women these days, it's just, it's just too much. It's just too much of a headache. It really is. Um, you know, if you can find one. Um, but yeah, but that's, uh, that's all, all I pretty much have to say. Um, um, that's probably my biggest regret as a long-term uh, ink or a lifelong inkwell in my case. Um, you know, I, I, I regret approaching all those women and, and failing. But I suppose, what can you do? You, you know, you've got to, it's trial and error. I guess you've just got to try something and see if it works. And also, you, too, you have to cringe at those PUA videos. Oh my God! It's, <laughs> oh, you, the cringe fact. Like you, you look at these guys and you say, you say "No, guys, that's no, no. This this pickup artist nonsense, and it is nonsense. It's, it's just going to lead you down the path of misery and despair. It really is. Yes, yeah, like if I could live my life over again, yeah, I definitely wouldn't have approached all those women. Like like that cruise I went on with my Chad friend, which I've made a video about last year. My most brutal black pilling experience. Look, I enjoyed the cruise. I saw some, the weather was great, didn't get seasick. Met some lovely people, especially from Fiji, Vanuatu. Uh, yeah, so I really, really enjoyed the cruise aspect of it. But what I didn't, what I absolutely hated was the uh, the women's side of it. Oh, that was, oh, never again. Uh, uh, it's, um, and look, in saying this, I do not hate, I do not hate women, I'm not a misogynist. And I know women, you know, they want the best genetics and that's obviously not going to happen with me. So I'm not angry at women at all. No. No. It's, uh, it's guys, look, I know a lot of a lot of you in the Inkwell community are a bit, a bit angry and bitter at women. Don't be. It's It, it doesn't do you any good. It really doesn't. Um, just to, you know, accept it. Accept your Inkwell status and uh, move on with your life and try and find happiness and meaning in your life outside of your rotten luck with women and if you've got a if you need to have some bedroom fun with a lady just pay for it that's if it's illegal where you live anyway guys if you'd like to um leave your comments about what what what, what your biggest regrets as an inkwell have been leave your comment please leave your comments in the, in the comment section uh, 
and uh, I'll speak to you guys soon. You guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.